Hello, Internet friends. Let's talk about the benefits of legal immigration. So in 1965, Congress passed the Hart Seller Act, which means the floodgates were open for the third world to immigrate to America. Prior to 1965, immigration was restricted to free white men of good character. So from 1776 to 1965, the only people who were allowed to immigrate here were free white men of good character. And that's terrible. That's white supremacy, isn't it? And bigoted. Anyway, so you know in the third world, the most egregious human rights abuses are part of the cultural norms and standards. And these people are immigrating here. Yay, isn't that a beautiful thing? I think so. And as a group, people from the third world will vote reliably left. About 85% of the time, they'll vote left. And then, uh, let's see what else here. Oh, and then a lot of these people coming in from third world countries, if they came in illegally prior to 1965, the government would scoop them up and throw them out. And after 1965, people came in illegally from the third world, the government would just give them amnesty. So these people coming in from failed countries have gotten political offices and they are voting they have been voting to remove our monuments rename our institutions lower our scholastic standards hate crime laws they're trying to pass hate speech laws and they're restricting our gun rights in a nutshell the new americans are ruling over us isn't that awesome the demographics of america prior to 1965 were 90 percent white and 10% non-white. The current demographics of America is about 50-50, 50% white, 50% non-white. And currently global demographics are 10% white, 90% non-white. Even though the demographics of the world are 10% white, it's not fair that white countries do better than non-white countries. So. With the third world coming into America and turning our demographics into poop soup, it's going to be better for everybody. With so many people coming into America from the third world and always voting in their own interests, one day soon they will vote to ratify the Constitution and they will get rid of the First and the Second Amendment. Heck, they'll probably get rid of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights altogether. It was dumb anyway. Well, Internet friends, it looks like the new Americans are here to replace us. And that's a beautiful thing. People coming in from places where pedophilia, this word is censored, slavery, female genital mutilation, sex trafficking, drug running, honor killings is legal. We'll be able to carry on the foundations that our forefathers created. I'm excited, aren't you? Well, internet friends, thanks so much for listening, and I appreciate your feedback below, and I hope you enjoyed the birdies. Take care.